Howdy all, this is Texas Gaming Industries here, and welcome to episode 22, part 11. Switzerland of... is a neutral country, and one of... As I was saying, welcome to episode 22, part 11 on my Let's Play of Transport Fever 2. In the previous episode, we finally got the Paris Exposition grounds all finished up, and now we need to start transporting supplies to the event. This being two types of Luxembourg wine. Luxembourg is a small country. As I was saying, I need to basically deliver loads of red and white wine, champagne, cheeses, and chocolates. Along with that, some new industries have just opened. Exposition, huh? Well, guess what? I already got started with that already. There's a lot of people that want to basically travel to the exposition grounds already. And most of people them are want to look their best at the exposition. And I also got clothes I need to deliver here as well. Everything is perfectly in sync. However, though, thing is, due to the game's lag, I have the gallery to sell a lot de of machines stuff. is the large. Oh my god. Anyway, so basically, I have a lot of stuff to deliver. But since I'm transporting, well, visitors right now, everything should be okay. However, though, I needed to start delivering machinery and various other commodities around the map. Now, according to suppliers, there is a, there is a machines factory located in Dwarves. However, I need lumber and steel. So I can start delivering steel to Nan from Nancy, but I'll have to deliver pick up lumber from here at Bascon. And the only place I can find logs is in Strasbourg, which is located here in Switzerland. Well, actually, no, in Germany. And unfortunately, I don't have transport rights in this country yet. Hmm. Well, first of all, I want to get some easy assignments finished first. First of all, we're going to start delivering some champagne first. The champagne factory requires these type of grapes and glass in order to produce it. This won't be too difficult as the only location that needs it is at the Paris Exposition. So let's basically place down basically a three track station at 320 meters. And basically connect to a couple of these farm industries that are located around on the map. Like this grape farm is perfect and can be placed right beside the main line. What do is just basically connect it here and then do this. Speaking of which, the coal mine basically doesn't need all these tracks anymore because once I basically connect the new in mines located in the other part of the map, this mine will just basically serve one particular interest only. And that's supply coal to basically one of the industries that's needed. Now, basically, I'm going to reschedule train, coal train number one, take it to here. And that will basically be on track two. I'll delete that, and delete that, at least for now. And then I'll have to get started on transporting livestock and milk. There's a chocolate factory in Chill, a cheese factory in Troyes, and, and another chocolate factory in Charlotte. There's also a meat packing plant in Chalmont. And there's a lot of consumers that want this. There's at least four towns that want meat. Which, two of my towns can be connected to. That being Otsver and Verdun. Though surely... Sherlock and Mole House are not available. Hmm. I could also connect to the twice grapevine here and deliver it. 
into there. Then I'll also have to deliver glass. It's going to be quite a very extensive operation. We'll connect it there. Speaking of which, I'm going to basically get rid of all of my freight trains so I can reschedule them. I know it's not ideal, but I might as well try something like this. And same for my wagon convoy systems. Vehicles online. Oh, right, that was an intercity bus. All right. Now with that down, I'll just have to basically go up a bit, because I want to build a bridge over this road. Uh, no. I also forgot to mention why we have over four mil 474 million francs. The reason is very, very simple. It's because my loan has finally been paid off after so long. As we basically made over 217 million francs earlier by selling off some of my vehicles, my company value is now 547 million francs. Though our company score is at 21. A little bridge over the river again. And since there is no railroad line connecting going over this road, I think it's safe to say that we'll basically build a crossing on this. Alright. Crossing looks good. And now I'll have to basically set up a bit of a, of a Y here. So I can at least get my trains of glass and grapes from the other farms all the way to the champagne factory. All the while, I'll also have to build this, so the loads of champagne can travel up to Paris. I believe once all these supplies are delivered to Paris, then we can basically be done with this mission. Alright, the signals are all placed. Hmm. Well, it's going to be a very short distance between this between this farm and the one and the champagne factory. So let's just basically put down a small deep freight station here and just make it cross over this main line. We'll also have to set up a couple of signals. We'll use a couple. Of, we'll just use this one. And then we'll have to set up a new wagon service to connect the industry. All right. I believe now that everything is all, 
everything is okay. Now I gotta get started on transporting materials to the Verdun Glass Factory again. First of all, let's set up a new service to pick up loads of coal. We'll pick up coal from the Lilith Coal Mine and deliver it to Lower Verdun's Glass Factory. We'll, we'll take the wagons of coal to this on track 4. This will be Freight Train A1, and I'm putting in parentheses, coal. And to make sure I don't get confused on which mine it's serving, this will, I'll call this Lily, as this coal is coming from the Lily mine. Second is sandstone, is stone. We'll connect the sandstone quarry and drop it off here. This will be freight train B1, sand stone. And then it's basically collecting a load of potash. We'll put it on this track. This will be freight train C potash. Full load, 10 minutes. Put it green, well, blue. Now, with those supplies brought in, then I'll assign one train to deliver glass here. This will be freight train D1 glass. And it will be used, and it will go to REM. Will be, the stop will be REMS. And then do with another one, but basically supply glass to this. This will be freight train D2 glass Dijon. Ten minutes. All right. Next is grapes. Hmm? Oh. Oh, right. Didn't, I forgot to add the slip switch there. This will be freight train E1 grapes. Well, it's going to be green. Actually, what color are those? They're called Chardonnay grapes. Oh, they're going to be used to pick up. This will be Champagne grapes. And the same one for this service, too. Load, 10 minutes. Just gonna control C to copy the text, control V to paste, and it will be changed to E2. Now these grapes are actually bound for another destiny. Well, that's the only location for those grapes. Now, as we go through the French national theme again. The place I can get white wine is in Strasbourg, but that's in Germany, and that requires Pont Gris grapes and glass. But thankfully, we are it, and the only grapes available are in Germany as well. So we basically have to impress Germany first. And the only way I'll be able to wait, not Germany, Switzerland. Yeah, it is Germany. It is Germany. Jeez, it's so confusing. Anyway. Then we also gotta figure out how to get these loads of dairy products, milk, and livestock to their respective destinations. 
Hmm. Then I'll have to set up another train to carry the champagne to the bare grounds. Thank goodness those platforms that I originally had used in the beginning are still good. This will be Freight Train F, and this will be carrying Champagne Bottles. This will be fully loaded, it will unload, and then I'll have to set up another, I'll set up a, a wagon convoy to deliver the loads. This will be Wagon Convoy A1. This will basically just pick up loads of champagne and drop them off Paris West at the Exposition Grounds. And I also gotta set up another one to get the loads of construction materials back up. Let's see. Ah. Connect that and deliver it to here in Paris. Ten minutes. Freight train B2. Sandstone. Now with all that done, let's get the vehicle set up. We're going to still use the generic 060 locomotive to handle the loads of coal and sandstone along with other commodities. Let's see. All right, we'll use five plank wagons to pick up the loads of coal from the mine and take it to the glass factory. We'll get the same engine again, but this time taking using Three plank wagon, four plank wagons for sandstone. This will basically be the same as the last one. That will be assigned to B1. However, I feel like we also need to carry a much bigger train for delivering sandstone to Paris for that construction materials plant. We'll put the load at about. 560 at the brake van and now just basically get another engine to pick up the loads of potash from the quarry from the mines located near Calette near Nancy we'll use five plank wagons this time around to carry that load 350 units as usual And now for basically delivering glass. Same engine again. This being the mid 060 10 wheel goods engine. And box fans, as I don't want the glass to break on while on transit. We'll carry 420 units. And now basically. To Finally, last thing we need is basically a train to pick up the loads of grapes from the farm. We'll basically carry a load about 350 grapes, but for the short distance one, I'll need a small engine to service that. We'll basically make about, let's see, 140 units. And the engine used for that service will be, hmm, it'll be this little well tank. 
Actually, no. This one. And then just and then I'll have to get another goods engine and several box vans to carry the bottles of champagne to Paris. Since it's only gonna basically need two hundred units, only a capacity of two hundred and ten will be used. Alright. Now let's get these services started. You go to coal you go to the coal mine, you get the sandstone, and you get sandstone. You get the potash, you pick up glass, you take it to Rems, take this glass, take it to Dijon. You pick up the champagne grapes, and you pick up champagne grapes, and then you pick up champagne bottles. And now I'll have to get about 10 of these wagons to pick up the loads of grapes and champagne at, well, the freight yard, near the freight yard. And now, my farms are starting to slowly produce the needed materials. All the while, my passenger trains are still running. Still to make up the money I spent to, that I used to prime my new vehicles. We are not able to transport steel at the present time to their respective destinations, as I'll need British permission to basically operate in Britain to collect, to drop off the steel. And then I'll have to get permission from Germany to basically to bring in logs to build, to make lumber, and use it at the construction material, <laughs> at the machine factory. Jeez, I can't speak today. We'll eventually start transporting other commodities later on. Because I'll probably pick up restart operations delivering grain to the bakery and Lily. But then I'll have to start transporting construction materials again. Actually, why don't we just start that now? This will be freight. Train G1 building materials, and you're going to La Harve. You're dropping it off on platform one. You will also two will basically be freight train G2 building materials and this one is heading for Lily have to go through the freight yard here and ovens. I don't want that. There we go. Much better. And then this will basically load up on platform 2. I'll just get another goods engine. And to carry the loads of construction material, I'll just use the one plank wagons. I'll get the I'll get the brake van, purchase two, and put them to work on the new services. All right. Slow and steadily, we'll basically start transporting a good amount of supplies. As only the Champagne Factory produces 50 units, but that's alright. We'll also have to start transporting glass to this red wine factory. To this red wine factory. And again, the only grapes available. There is, fortunately, some grapes near Dijon. 
which we can eventually start doing, as we need to basically impress Germany. If we get Germany impressed, then we'll have transportation rights into Germany. The Maya Lily is starting to produce coal again, thankfully. Grapes are being loaded up. And gla potash will be on its is waiting at the mine. And so is the sandstone. A lot of it. But I think we'll basically end this episode off here. So if you enjoyed this episode of my Let's Play at Transport Fever 2, please be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to Texas Gaming Industries for new video uploads every Friday or Saturday, depending on my outside schedule. And as always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye!